It's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are here right between the main building and the Lewis Stokes wing of the downtown branch of the Cleveland Public Library. We're here with arts advocate Mark Zeal. Mark, talk about this cool project here, Before I Die. Where did this all start? Sure. Uh, Craigslist ad, uh, originally created by the St. Martin's Press editor, uh, Rose Hilliard, and uh, I found out about the project for the city of Cleveland as being one of the cities who did not have a law officially. Where did this originally start? This is what, in New Orleans? It is, yeah. There's an artist named Candy Chang who is a community artist for the outdoor installations. And she was uh, instrumental in getting those uh, approximately like 350 of these walls that have been built all around the world. And uh, <laughs> Set right. Yeah. And so, so this is basically what people's aspirations, things that they want to do before they die. Yeah, right? Candy lost a very close personal family member and uh, used the wall as an installation to uh, provide some sort of expression or meaning to her life. So she extended that to the world and people come by and uh, basically talk about things that they would like to do before they die. <laughs> so read some of these for me because some, some of these sure. are pretty cool. I noticed a couple people are saying they want to go to Scotland. I don't know what it is about Cleveland, but they want to, one wants to stay in a castle there. Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, anything run from being a pediatrician to uh, finding the fountain of youth. To uh, seeing the Browns win yeah, that before would be, I die. That would be a good aspiration <laughs> for us here locally. But, um, of course, but some of them are, are like about uh, wanting to go down in history yeah. or uh, I, I want to take care of our nation. Uh, you know. Yeah, the cool thing about this is that it's uh, causing people to really go in deep and, and find out what's important to them. So you'll see a lot of spirituality in some of these. It says, no God is my salvation. Yeah. Or... Uh, be successful and make a change. It's just right. A, it's pretty big. It's pretty big issues that some people sure. come up with. They were saying that this, of all the engagement projects, that this one really set people on fire. That for some reason, they just really were attracted to this. It's maybe because they can just pick up a piece of chalk and do Absolutely. it, and you can just walk by and, and spend a lot of time reading. Yeah, it's like an instant uh, introspection for your life. So it's a way to express something to the world and uh, to yourself at the same time. This is so sweet, and it's it's all free. People can just come in here. Don't even need a library card for this one. No, you do not. <laughs> and, uh, just come in, check it out, add your own absolutely. saying, and check out everyone else's. And then, after a while, it will get erased, right? I mean, yeah, it'll be here through the thirty-first of January, and of mm -hmm. course, it is a timely thing. So you'd want to come down and uh, make your opinion known. <laughs> Mark, thanks for taking time to show us. It's a great project here thanks, at Cleveland Public Library. Thank Appreciate you. It. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.